Greetings, uh, I'm Dr. Alex Parsenia, President and Professor at American Premier University, the APU. We have a series of lectures dealing with management, strategy, leadership, and other functional areas of business. Today, what I'd like to talk about is power. So the topic of our, our presentation today is power. Now, power is a very interesting subject because although we're talking about power and its implication in business, but power as a concept is very broad. I mean, you know, with most of the political scenarios that you see in, uh, in the world, you're really dealing with power. And power essentially the way it's defined, it is defined as the ability to influence. Now that means an individual has power to the extent that that individual can influence the behavior or of another person or the behavior of, of groups. So as you can see in, in the field of management, power is really plays a very critical lo role. Uh, now, power as a general concept, it, it has both, it could be very positive and actually it could be very negative. It could be very toxic because you, you, you know, as people who have power, you, you could be thinking in terms of Mandela, you can think, think of Gandhi, you can think in terms of Cyrus the Great, Washington, all the great people. Essentially, the reason we all know about them is that because they were also very powerful. They knew how to use power very positively. But at the same time, there are, you know, we have a lot of people that they had power, they accumulated power, and they used power very negatively. In other words, toxic power. People like Hitler, Mussolini, uh, Stalin, uh, Genghis Khan, all of these people, they accumulated power, but the, uh, the ramification of their influence was very, very negative. So when you know, what is power? Why do people seek power? If you look at Maslow's needs hierarchy, which are, which is the pyramid of needs, and you, you start with uh, biological needs, then safety and security needs, social needs, uh, self-esteem need, but the, at the apex of Maslow's need hierarchy is actually what he calls self-actualization. The reason he calls it self-actualization because it's different for different people. This is the ultimate need. This is what people say, I'm passionate about this. This is my passion. That means that is how they're going to self-actualize. I mean, I mean, look at me. I mean, I'm involved in a lot of different businesses and scenarios, but my real passion, where I would consider myself in terms of my need for self-actualization is really the, the project of my books, as well as, of course, the movie project. That is really, that, that's my passion in life. Now, for a lot of people, the apex of their Maslow's needs hierarchy is actually power. Because you see people that, that they're making millions and millions of dollars in, in private sector, and then they move to public sector, where they're making say 300,000, why? Because they want power. I mean, that in itself is, is, could be a very strong need. And now, what are the sources of power? That's very important. I mean, even in business, we can, as I said, we can talk about power in general, we can talk about power as it applies in business. What, so what are the sources of power? How do you become powerful in effect, how do you influence other people? Well, the, one is really communication. People who tend to have power and accumulate power and be able to use power effectively, they're very strong communicator. They can communicate, they can create passion, they can create uh, emotions in other people. So one is communication, the other one is knowledge. You know, one way that you can accumulate power and in a, in a way you can create that de dependency, that's really what's known as power equation. To the, 
you have power over another person to the extent that that person becomes dependent on you. That is what's known as a power equation. So if you have knowledge, you create dependency. Like particularly I'm talking about in companies, organizations, because they, they're dependent on you. You're the one with technical expertise. You're the one with management know-how. You're the one with strategic skills. So to get things done, they need you. And as a result, to the extent that they'll come to you, basically you have power. Now, another source of power is of course, access to resources. If you're controlling the budget, if you're controlling uh, access to financial, uh, strategic operations, uh, projects. So people in effect, again, you create dependency and as a result, you, you, you acquire power. Now, one another dimension of power is really personality. Mm -hmm.